We'll now work on creating a desktop friendly left rail or left sidebar. As you can see here on docs.cleaver.io, I have a list of links right here. Some of these are internal, such as documentation and guides. So if you look at docs.cleaver.io, we have a whole documentation section and then a whole guide section. So the documentation is basically how to work with Cleaver, uh, what the different functionality is, where things are, what things uh, what the purpose of things are, whereas the guides are more so the how-tos, how to do this using Cleaver, how to use Cleaver with this external tool, and so on. These are two different internal sections, and then there are linked to external resources. We'll create this section with the intent of having it more of an external resource area, but you could just modify it to be uh, a mixture of the two, or just internal, or just external, or not even use it. Uh, it's all up to you. And below, we'll add the table of contents. Going back to the tab that we currently have, we just have the header so far, so let's create that left rail. And we're going to concentrate on the desktop version right now, and then we'll come back later and make it a little more mobile friendly. Back here in our default.view file, which is our main layout, we have the main header up top here. Let's add another div below that. When this div will nest the desktop sidebar, the mobile sidebar, and the main content area. Let's begin with the desktop sidebar and quickly we'll add some styling to the parent div. Okay, let's create this component for the desktop sidebar. Right click on components, add new file, and then desktop sidebar.view. Let's collapse this. And I've got some starter code to drop in. All right. So within this area, I want to create those two sections, one for those external links and another for the table of contents. And let's create components for those two different things, starting with the external links. And again, these could be internal links too. If you do do a mixture of external links and internal links, uh, feel free to rename this component to whatever best describes what it is that you're doing. But in this example, we're just going to keep this as external links. And let's add some classes to that. Class equals flexcol and add some padding to the top. And then next, our table of contents, let's just call that docs content. And add some classes to that. A little bit of styling, let's do some margin on top of that. All right, let's create a component for external links. I'll just copy that and then go here and right click new file add that external links dot view and i'll paste in some starter code all right here we have a link and let's call this link let's title it external link and we're going to use a href for this to point to the url if this was an internal link however we would use a different format for internal links we use the format next link and then two, and then add in the internal route or URI. All right, I have my label for the link, which is external link, but I also wanna add an icon to that. And to keep it simple, let's just reuse that globe icon that we used in the header. So let's find our header.view, main header.view. And right here is the globe icon. Instead of copying and pasting the SVG code, let's make a component out of this. So I'm going to copy that and then open up my directory and create a new component. Let's call this globe icon. And we'll add our template tag and then paste that in here. Okay, cool. So now we can reuse globe icon. Let's first add that into the main header. Just erase all that and then add in globe icon. All right, cool. Let's grab this again, and then we'll add it to our external links and dump it right there. And then let's highlight all of this and duplicate this a couple times. That way we have a nice starter template with three external links that you could modify. All right, let's go back to the desktop sidebar.view and then docs contents. Let's go ahead and create a component for that. So again, just right click new file and then docs contents.view. And let's collapse this down and get rid of some of these tabs we don't need. 
and paste in some starter code. All right, this H3 tag that we have right here is essentially gonna be the section header. So let's go ahead and title it that. And then we have a couple Nux links, which if you remember is the internal link. So Nux link and then to the route to the URI. And we have a couple here. So let's call that link one and then this one link two. So right now we have the hashtag because we're not linking to any actual page, but we'll come back later and tie that all together. All right, I think we're off to a good start, but let's go back to the browser and take a look at our progress. All right, so we have our external link section and our table of content section, and this is all looking pretty good. Um, I can see one little issue, I guess, with uh, just straight uh, copying this component and then placing it over here is that it looks like the hover over is separate from the external link. So what I want is if I hover over this, I also want the globe to have its hover over effect as well. So let's look at seeing how we can combine that. Well, it looks like I should have kept the globe icon tab open. Let's go there real quick and check it out. All right. Um, all right, I'm thinking that we should take out the class from this icon. That way we could change it a little more easily in the different places that we add it to. All right, so I'm just gonna cut that out of this and then go to the header, which I guess I should have kept that tab open as well. And find the globe icon and let's add the class there. So that should persist the current effect for that globe icon on the far right of the header. So let's go back and work on those external links now. So an external links.view, take a look at the styles real quick. All right, now let's add some classes to the globe icon. Let's remove this and it should just take from the parent and we'll keep the height and width and margin right. Uh, let's just keep that as well and see what it looks like. All right, let's copy this over to the other globe icon tags and then save that out. Oh, let's get rid of some of that extra spaces there. Don't want it to be too sloppy looking. Okay, let's go back to the browser and take a look. All right, let's see. Ah, perfect. Okay, that's a little better. Another thing I notice is it looks like the next icon is missing from the center content area. Let's see what happened to that. All right, let's move the next component away from that and then put it in that same div there. And now go back and take a look at our browser. All right, it's back. 